Dialogue in the Darkness. It was an idea of a German artist named Andreas Heineke. And he developed, he developed this after a friend of him became blind in a car accident. So what was this exhibition about? This was an experience of a seeing person becoming blind for 45 minutes. With a group of six, you entered a semi-dark room. You got a blind stick with explanation how to use it. And then you went through a curtain and you have your eyes open, but it's totally dark. You don't see anything. You feel your heart beating in your throat and some of your group have to get out immediately. And then you hear a voice. And this voice belongs to your guide, the blind, who is seeing in the darkness. In the first room, you hear water running, you hear birds singing. You are in a garden, but you do not know it. And with your guide and the group, you explore the room and you feel objects. These are sculptures. And you have to try to form you an image of these objects because you are your own architect. Then you go to the second room with street noises. You are in a city. There's a parking meter. There are road constructions going on. And then to the third room. You're in a bar with music. You have to order a drink. You have to pay for it. And you have your Coke and your glass and you have to try to pour your Coke in the glass. And then you sit down with your group. Just trying to sit down is already a problem. And with the blind guide, you discuss your experiences and your fears. And the blind talks about being blindness and the problems and the challenges he is facing in daily life. And at the end, you pass a curtain and there's the light again. You are relieved. But also you see the blind guide walking with his stick, being in the blind forever. A shocking experience. As Rotterdam Eye Hospital, we are involved in many art projects, like the Museum Night. This is blind wine tasting. And for CEOs, we have blind champagne tasting. <laughs> we also organize art tours every month in the hospital because we have an interesting art collection. And the goal is to make people aware of their eyes, but also to show our concepts to people who normally would not visit the hospital. The eye in itself is a piece of art. If you look through the microscope, you see fascinating images. This is the retina. This is the cornea with a virus infection stained with fluorescein. And this is the image of cataract. Images that look like the image I found, like the image of Hubble, taken in outer space. <clears throat> the eye is also the mirror of the soul. The eye is the gateway to the outside. But what if you have an eye problem? You suddenly see, you see light flashes, you have a blurred vision, you have macular degeneration, and you see the black spot. You cannot see your loved ones anymore. You cannot read. You cannot see your children. Or you have glaucoma. Perhaps you think, what's the problem here? But I show you the problem. You don't see the children crossing the street. And when you have these problems, you want to see the doctor immediately. In the Rotterdam Eye Hospital, we are treating 145,000 patients yearly. And we do it in an innovative way. We do it completely different, and we have two secrets. And our first secret is we learn from other industries. We learn from KLM, Toyota, Delta Lloyd, Albert Heijn. From KLM, for instance, we use their planning system. The way the KLM is booking passengers, we are looking to book patients. And also for the KLM, we use their safety program. The airline is a very safe industry. Only 600 people die yearly in crashes. And in the Dutch hospitals, 1,700 people die yearly due to preventable medical errors. 
So a hospital is a very unsafe environment. <laughs> There's nothing to love. We also go to the flight simulator with our teams to train them in team building. And the other secret is we learn from the peers. The peers are the best. And you see here the AAEH, that's the American Association of Eye Hospitals, the Europeans, and the world. And this is our international network. This is our World Wide Web. The World Association of Eye Hospitals, founded in Rotterdam five years ago. And what we are doing is we do a benchmark program with several of these hospitals. But the most important is, thing is the exchange of nurses. So nurses from Singapore are coming to Rotterdam. We are sending people to Hopkins. Hopkins is sending people to us. And they exchange ideas. And we use the nurse as our consultant, instead of using PricewaterhouseCoopers. Far more expensive and less effective. <clears throat> but we are not Toyota, we are not an airline, we are an eye hospital with problems with eye. So it, for us it's very important what is the philosophy you want to treat your patients. And as you can imagine, this is our philosophy, the reduction of fear. The reduction of fear of becoming blind. And if you reduce the fear, the healing process is going better. There's evidence for that and you far better understand what doctors and nurses are telling you. So how to reduce the fear? The first thing is good patient education. Inform your patients properly. Because when you're informed, you make it predictable. There are no surprises. We also have valet service. No worry where to park. Another aspect is you have to come with somebody else. Two here, more than one. So you come with a family member. And the family member helps also because it's a known figure for the patient. It's helpful in the treatment. And we also show everything. Transparency. The doors are open in the hospital. And you, what you see here is we also show live surgery. There's a cataract center and the family member can watch live cataract surgery of his relative. We have nothing to hide. If there is a problem, you also can see it. But the doctor will come immediately after surgery to explain to you and the family member what went wrong. Over the years, we treated 70,000 people and we never got a claim for malpractice. <clears throat> so waiting for surgery now, there's a new experiment. We have sound art. You hear sounds of a Japanese nightingale, and you hear sound of the waves at the Scottish coast. And it's working excellent. And the last aspect is our building. We renovated the hospital six years ago, and we had an interior architect who was specialized in museums of modern art. So this is now our museum. We have wood paneled floors. This is the atrium. You see the letter of the Snellen test, I think you know it when you go to an eye doctor. And we tell to people, if you cannot see these figures, you, are, <laughs> you have a serious problem. And this is our pupil. So we have a very attractive building with a museum atmosphere and patient and employees feel at home. So my message is, if you want to have an innovative culture, think completely differently. Thank you.